Michael and sister found this place and Michael was so impressed he brought me along and at the same time that we came along we had seen Ron in his car, his little red Jaguar and then uh, we pulled up here and he pulled up right behind us. It was like fate, it was like God said yeah. this is a person you should meet and this yeah. is a person you should get to know so we did. Well, I don't smoke grass and I don't drink alcohol, but I do admire the way these guys live their lives. I used to be in the electric adjustable bed business. I realized we had to talk to people in order to get their attention. So in myself, Gordy Tap, we would speak to people. I couldn't speak to them, probably if I had a long beard and I had a, a, you know, a dime bag in my pocket, it's not gonna work consequently it's not going to be successful. And to me, it's important to be successful. That'll give you the motorcycles that you want. It'll give you the house where you're going to live. And it'll give you all the freedoms. So you march like the drummer, and you get in line, and you do because it's necessary. Paul Lucero chose not to do that. And Brother Tuck, they just read their own band. They don't need anybody in front of them. They march to their own drummer. And I take my hat off to them because I get a bang out of that. You have to have an open mind today. You don't know anything about another person's life until you talk to them. You share a little bit about yourself. They share a little bit about themselves. And you see, you know, I'm glad I talked to that guy. I see things in a different light after talking to them. They're scary guys when you first look at them until they speak. And you can see that these guys are friendly guys. You know, they lead a different lifestyle, but you know, hey, if we're all the same, we'd all drive Volkswagens. <laughs> I followed their career uh, in the courts, and I seen they get sentenced that last time around, and that Brother Tuck got nine months. No, he got a year. And Balsadero uh, got the two years and went down to Mill Haven in Kingston. I said to myself, enough is enough. Let's find out what it requires to get him out on appeal bail. And that's what I did, and I put up the appeal bail, knowing full well they would never skip. I couldn't see a guy sitting in the penitentiary over a small bail. God. And lo and behold, in the end, they did win. Mikey didn't have to go to the back to the penitentiary, did a short few months in a reformatory, and now he's out and back to the lifestyle that he knows best, and now running for mayor and four thumbs up for Mikey. Our lifestyles between the brothers and myself are day and night differences. Uh, you know, they're with the Church of the Universe, and for the most part, unless somebody's getting buried or uh, married, is about the only time I go through into a church. So we don't have a lot in common in that regard. But I find that we do have a lot in common when it, we're talking about I like rebellion, and it's something you either like it or you don't. Some people don't want to rebel. I just enjoy when a person can come up with good conversation or if we're talking about the freedoms in today's society. How much freedom do you really have? Did you just put that gum uh, over there? I'm sorry. Pick up the gum, stand over there, turn to the corner, and when we're done, right on the blackboard 100 times, I will not chew gum again. We all went through that. But as life progresses, now we got the G8 on, we got uh, big shields and plastic and pushing crowds and yellow stripes. We know all these things are necessary, but is it really the freedom of the 60s? The freedom of the 60s is closer to Baldacero and Brother Tuck. Everybody out in the field just having some weed and laughing and giggling. It's a different world. When you go into Toronto today and you had a camera and you were panning up and down Bay Street, you'd see, don't come to work. Work is closed today. Oh, but it's Tuesday. That's okay. There's no work today. 
You can't come downtown and the subway's got to only run at a certain time. Wow, things are, this is all for your own protection. You know we have to think for you because you're not capable on your own. You know that, don't you? I'm sorry, sir. Rebellion. You like rebellion, I can understand. Yes, I do. And I think a little more rebellion. Now, I don't mean bad rebellion. Humor, laugh and giggle. And have yourself a good time. I, I do admire them in their own way because they do what everybody else or a lot of people would like to do, but they don't dare do it because they say, you're out of line. I'm sorry, sir. Are you chewing gum? No. Did you ride, go through that green light? Uh, red, green. Oh, behave yourself. Otherwise, otherwise what, sir? Otherwise, you'll get a ticket. Were you speeding? Has your seatbelt, was it on? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. What are you sorry for? The brothers aren't sorry. They'll go right along with the program and they'll take it right to the penitentiary. But they'll do their time and they'll leave because that's what they believe. That's their belief. What would I say to them to change their way of thinking? Nothing. I would say uh, put together a larger church and get a larger, larger motorcycle and laugh and giggle when you go down the highway. It's the highway, it's your life. You know, we talked about years ago, it was uh, Freedom 55, but what a joke that is. Now everybody's got gray hair, they're 65 years of age, and they're still working. Where's the freedom? Where's the meat? No, I said, where's the freedom? You're the freedom, fool. You make your own freedom. Mikey and Brother Tuck made their own freedom. We don't have to like it. It's what they chose to do, and more power to them. Yeah, yeah.